what's up guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome in today's video we are going to be doing postpartum meal prep i am currently 37 i'll be 38 maybe 39 when this is posted i'll be almost 39 weeks when this is posted so either baby boy will already be here or i will just be over it which I already am. But anyway, so today, guys, we are going to prep some meals. Um, I have about seven different meals. I'm going to show you my plan, how I planned it out, the grocery list, all the things that I did. But first, I need a clean kitchen. So, all right, guys, so the kitchen is clean. And I'm going to show you guys my stations that I have set up. And then we're going to get cooking. All right, this is my seasoning station, guys. I have all the seasonings that I'm going to need. Um, flour, sugar, bone broth, my uh, chocolate chips for the muffins, and that is that area. Next up, we have the stove. Of course, this is where I'll be doing the cooking of the meats, okay? I got my pot here. I have some more pans that I have to put out, but that's ready and clean. These are my oils and my sauces section. I have all the oils that I need, uh, the sauces, salsa, tomatoes, refried beans, all of those that are in these containers. That is here. My big pan that I'll need. My Instant Pot is for cooking. Um, afterwards, of course, toaster, anything like that. The big appliances are all in this section. And then I have things that I need to cut and chop. So the onions, limes, sweet potatoes, etc. These are my tortillas. I will move these when I'm ready to do um, the breakfast burritos and I will have a whole tortilla station so that I can just flip and twist things up. Okay. So I have all my stations. We're clean. Let's get ready to cook y'all. All right, guys. So this is how I organize everything. I have the meals. There's about 11 meals, except for some are going to be two. The lasagna is going to be split up into two mini lasagnas. Honey me sesame chick. Honey sesame chicken should be two. And the pineapple teriyaki chicken should also be two. Um, I don't know how many chicken fajitas I it will make. I might be able to split them up, but we'll see. Um, but this is what we have. Okay, so you can take a look at that. And then I have it based off of my prep, how I'm going to prep everything. What I need to cut up and what I need to cook. I will be cooking the things first because um, then that will give it time to cool before I have to put it in the freezer bag. And then I have my grocery list. I checked off all the things that I currently already have. There's a few things that they didn't have for pickup at Walmart that I have to pick up, like the pineapple chunks, um, lasagna noodles, plain yogurt, and some meats. So we'll do that. And then I have the recipes. And then I have the recipes. So let's get this party started. muffins and then I have some bagels for pizza bagels uh, this is for Malachi there and um, these are easy lunches or whatever he can take out warm up and, and eat so I think I have enough to do this is 12 another 12 24 and then I can come in here I asked for the mini bagels but they were out 
is another slip, okay. So we got enough to do 36. So now they go on to the oven pan and I'm gonna put these in the oven at 400 for about, what does it say? 15 minutes at 400. And I'm gonna keep doing this until I'm out of English muffins and bagels. Okay guys, so I was mistaken, you don't bake them first unless you want to put some to the side i am actually going to bake some so he can have some for later but if you just want to freeze it and prep for freezer meals you do all of this you can still keep them on your pan and then you flash freeze these in the freezer so that you know of course the cheese is not falling everywhere once they're frozen you put them in your um, bag so you'll see me doing both of those things putting a batch in the oven and then the rest i'm going to just freeze for later all right y'all so i thought i was recording but i wasn't but all i've done so far i'm on the blueberry protein muffins and i did the one third cup of white flour and one third cup of wheat flour and the two thirds cup of protein powder that's all i've done so far you didn't miss much Here I have some frozen blueberries that, that have been thawed. We're just gonna coat this in some flour and fold it in. That is it for the blueberry protein muffins. I am now going to put these in my muffin tins and it says to Bake at 400 for 18 to 20 minutes. So let's do that. It's going in the oven. After I make the chocolate chip, I'll put all of these in the oven at the same time. All right, next up is our chocolate chip muffins. This recipe already calls for 12, so I don't have to double it. And I already have all my things out, ready to go.
follow the recipe, at least with like the measurements. And this is how much I have left. So it's a pretty good amount. I could probably make another row of these, but I don't have another muffin tin. So we're just going to put these in with the blueberry. Okay, so. Oops, turn the light on. There. All right, so we have blueberry on top, chocolate chip on the bottom, and they're gonna go in. The top only needs 20, the bottom needs 25, so I'm gonna take the top out and then leave the bottom in for five more minutes, depending on how good they cook. Let's see. All right, guys, I took them out of the oven. They cooled a little bit on the stove, and now I am popping them into the freezer to freeze completely before I put them in the Ziploc bags. All right, make sure you write the instructions on the Ziploc bag. So I have take however many you want, cover in a paper towel, heat in the microwave for up to one and a half minutes. I don't know how many, how much, but you can figure that out. So I put 18 in here. Okay, for the pizza bagels, they were um, flash frozen. They were ready to go to where the cheese doesn't fall off if you flip it over. Now I have it in here, piece of muffins, baked and frozen for 15 minutes at 400. You could use a toaster oven, whatever you want to do, but this is what I put on mine. So these are ready to go. Two full bags of pizza muffins and two full bags of pizza bagels. So what I'm doing here, guys, is just prepping the veggies all at once. I have three different recipes that call for three um, onions chopped up, sliced or diced. So I'm gonna do that all at once. Of course, this thing will not. And then once I'm done that, I'll put that to the side with that meals um, things that need to go into the freezer bag.
All right, guys, so the main prep is done. This is for the pineapple teriyaki chicken. This is for honey sesame chicken. This is for my stuffed peppers, and this is for the lasagna. The lasagna, most of it, I have to cook, so I'm gonna cook the meat and the onions. I have oven ready lasagna, so I do not have to do the noodles, great. Um, Everything else like this, I don't have to cook these. I'm just going to put these in the bags. You will see that when I'm assembling everything. But I just wanted to show you my setup. And this is kind of how I stay sane and make sure that I have every piece of every recipe together. that it was supposed to be on the white side here, so I switched it, but here we go. One in the freezer.
guys, I have 10 of the whole wheat breakfast tortillas and 10 of the regular flour tortillas. These are ready to go in the freezer. Okay guys, I forgot to show this last meal. The stuffed peppers. I have my peppers hollowed out. I have one more to do. And I have my mix here. Refried beans, black beans, quinoa, red enchilada sauce, taco seasoning, and some fiesta cheese. So let's hollow this out first. You guys could just cut it across, but I'm trying to like make it as tall as possible. And for the stuffed peppers, guys, you want to make sure that you get peppers that can stand up by themselves. So that when you put them in here, I'm not going to freeze them in here. I'm going to put them in the freezer for a little bit to chill and then I'm going to put them in bags. these in the freezer and then put them in bags when you finish when you want to cook these you put them in the oven and then you can melt some extra cheese on top if you want to add like um, meat you can I didn't want to I was like we have a lot of meat uh, meals so this one is going to be a meatless stuffed pepper meal and it's ready to go all right guys so it's pretty deep we have all of the meals that I've prepared. We have um, four things for breakfast and five different meals for lunch or dinner. And then our friends are doing a meal train for us, so we will be set. Super exciting. All right, guys, that is it. I've shown you how I prepared the food how I organized, what I was gonna make, everything I did, where it went, all of that. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it motivates you guys to do the same thing, to prepare for your baby. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.